There are so many politicians who are like, do as I say, not as I do. You know what I mean? But not this guy. He's like, I'm a creep in my in my actions, in my private life. I'm Mm -hmm. a creep in my in my public positioning. Yeah, he's uh, um, he's literally a a sex criminal in the streets and a sex criminal in the sheets. (laughs) Welcome writer and producer for Jesus and Marrow on Showtime and the host of the podcast Make My Day returning champion. (laughs) Josh Gondelman, good to see you. Good to see you, too. I didn't realize I was a champion in the past. Oh, you're a champion. Thank you. You're a champion. Thank you. No doubt about it. And you no are also. It. Oh, that means so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Of course. I think it's Kathy Griffin who said that in LA, if you say congratulations to anyone, they mm-hmm. won't say why. They'll say thank you. Yeah. Because they just have so much going on. I always want to say why, because I'm, I like, am so pathologically terrified of taking credit for things I don't deserve. So like, what did you hear? <laughs> like, congratulations. <laughs> and I'm like, congratulations. Screw you, congratulations. You're not getting me to take credit for things. <laughs> Let's get into it. That's so funny. <laughs> what a week. <laughs> this Sunday, Christians around the world will mark the holiday of Easter. Easter, said Matt Gates. I hardly know her. Oh. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I uh-huh. I feel like I that joke makes me feel gross, but I don't think it's the joke. I just think it's the invocation of Matt Gates and the a female pronoun her in the same room together, and I'm just like, well, something bad is gonna happen. It's not great. Uh, the New York Times reported that uh, Matt Gates under investigation for possible sex trafficking. And the beleaguered congressman went on Tucker Carlson's show to say emphatically that he did not travel with a 17-year-old. The New York Times is running a story that I have traveled with a 17-year-old woman, and that is verifiably false. Uh, Which is, you know, people noted, slightly lawyered language. Uh, It is as if Jeffrey Epstein said, I never committed crimes on an archipelago, you know? (laughs) He really went on TV to, to, to split hairs, which is um, weird considering his hair seems physically impenetrable. I'm open to reading some kind of piece on the aesthetics of the right wing that connects Mar-a-Lago to these, these, these politicians. Their appearance reveals it's like an attempt to cover some deep emptiness, badness, and yes. it can't be covered. Gates specifically looks like he's a young guy who looks like an old guy trying to look young. <laughs> he's my age. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, he's my age. And it's like, I, I don't under what, what Why are, like, I guess he's just putting some city miles. Those are some city miles on the, on the Matt Gates machine, you know? <laughs> anyway, Gates happens to be the only member of the House to vote no on a bipartisan anti-sex trafficking bill that got 418 yes votes in 2017. And not a single person, Josh, has even taken a moment to praise Mr. Gates for his consistency. <laughs> no one's, co- I mean, the man has a position. There's so much hypocrisy, I think, within the Republican Party, right? Saying one thing in public and doing the other in private. And I think it, he, Matt Gates is the rare person that says, like, yeah, I'm pro-sex trafficking. Look at my record. Huh? That should be in his ads when he runs for re-election or when he hosts a new show on Newsmax. Uh, yeah. They should just call it the pro-sex trafficking hour with Matt Gates. Well, there are so many politicians who are like, do as I say, not as I do. You know what I yeah. mean? But not this yeah. guy. He's like, I'm a creep in my in my actions, in my private life. Mm-hmm. I'm a creep in my in my public positioning. Yeah, he's uh, um, he's literally a, a sex criminal in the streets and a sex criminal in the sheets. <laughs> For the rest of my days, I am never tired of a streets sheets joke. I love them. I love them 100 mm-hmm. percent of the time. It's they a very, always work on me. a very pleasing rhyme. Always fun to set up a dichotomy. Yeah. CNN also reports that Matt Gates showed nude photos of women he slept with to other members of Congress, including on the House floor. Did you hear that? Did you know that? You know I that did. I saw that? that last night. What's even worse is that he <laughs> pointed to the, the vaginas of the nude women and was like, this is where I want to deny them health care. <laughs> Which So it's just like a, a, a gross thing on top of the already gross thing it was doing. No, I know. I, it's just, um, it, right, because again, it was also a policy matter. And I just think it's also like, 
know your audience, man. It's like, okay, you want to show nude photos on the house floor, but Pelosi's like, I don't, why are you showing this to me? Like, I'm the wrong, <laughs> show this to your bros, <laughs> not Pelosi. <laughs> What? Like I feel this is like the same cohort that won't that like thinks the Lil Nas X video is a problem. <laughs> he showed it to the squad. They weren't mm-hmm. going for it. He just mm-hmm. just was, was too. He wasn't uh, discerning enough, and who would be interested in seeing the nudes he had taken of women in his life? It's like borderline, if not outright criminal. Uh, yeah. And it's it's just like what. Right. Who Who is he trying to impress? It reminds me of the fact that um, that the House of Representatives is a terrible work environment. Like, forget everything else. Forget. Put everything else aside. He's at fucking work. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. your job. You work at the House. Like, yes. Have you not been paying attention to the world it's just such like a like a gross. I mean, like I think like frat boy as a as an adjective is maybe overused sometimes, but it's such like a gross frat boy thing to do. In addition to the fact that it's like, who are you showing it to? It's like you're going to show this to other people in Congress. Like Mitt Romney has eleven kids. Mitt Romney fucks. Like you're not out fucking a guy who a Mormon, a Mormon adjacent senator. I know this was the House floor, but that's my point. Yeah, I mean, it, right? Mitt Romney has eleven children, and he's never seen a breast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's how that's how much he fucks uh it's hard to do i do go back to uh something that uh, um uh, i've said before but but matt gates is what happens if a frat paddle becomes a person mm-hmm. like, that is what he is <laughs> i think matt gates i seeing his tv appearances i think like uh he's like pinocchio but if instead of the nose growing when he lies his head just gets one millimeter taller <laughs> I also can't believe that we're in the middle of a Mad Gates scandal about sex trafficking and the word Nestor is not even coming up. I know. I would have I would have assumed that he was involved. Involved. <laughs> it's it's so I mean like I just feel so gross. Like this whole thing is so disgusting, right? Like and there are there are victims involved, right? He like hurt people this is a crime this is not a victimless crime i was really hoping that when matt gates went down for like a sex scandal it would be one that was like purely we could enjoy it and we you know like i was hoping he would like have uh embezzled taxpayer money and used it to buy like a silicone horse vagina he could have sex with and then we're just like ah this is fun for everyone and so it's like i do want to say we've it's like important to think about like he's hurting people and he's uh, just a, a truly horrible man Yes, that is a good point. We joke, but he's a monster. Moving on from the Gates material. (laughs) Human error at a vaccine manufacturing plant in Baltimore ruined up to 15 million Johnson & Johnson vaccine doses. So, Josh, I I did a little digging, all right? And Mm -hmm. here's what happened. So they had these two new people working at the plant. Mm -hmm. Uh, And they'd already screwed up at a bunch of other departments, but they had one last chance. All right. Mm -hmm. And so their boss, who was a kind of stern, a stern woman, set them up at this conveyor belt. And their job was to make sure each of the vaccine doses was wrapped before it got to the packing department. Okay, And so Mm -hmm. it started at first. It seemed like relatively easy. A vaccine dose would come and they would wrap it and let it go through. But then all of a sudden. There were more vaccine doses that they could possibly Mm -hmm. wrap. And the boss was clear. If even one vaccine dose gets to the packing department without it being wrapped, that's it. This was their last chance. And so they're wrapping these vaccine doses as fast as they possibly can, but they can't keep up. So they're putting them in their shirt. They're putting them in their hat. Mm -hmm. They're taking some of them. (laughs) They're giving themselves some vaccines. uh, And it just got out of hand. Uh, and that's that's sort of what happened. Um, That's what happened to the it's. uh, Is this I Love Lucy? No, I don't know. I love Lucy. I'm not familiar, but no, okay. <laughs> nothing to do with that. No, I don't. I don't understand the reference. It's honestly, I'm like impressed whenever you can ruin 16 million of something at once. <laughs> Just in the last week or so, we have seen two like world historic fuck ups. Like I remember when I was a kid uh, and I was learning to drive. I had my learning permit and I accidentally backed my mother's car into the closed garage door. I forgot sure. to open the garage door. <laughs> and that was haunting. Yeah. There was a car-shaped dent in the garage door. I paid for that emotionally. I mean, that came up for a decade. Forget the cost. <laughs> I heard about that for a decade. Mm-hmm. And then they get the, the ship stuck in the Suez Canal. You ruin 15 million doses of the vaccine. That is such a bad day. Yeah. 
really bad day. Oh, I hadn't even thought about like yeah, this in in context of the Suez the Suez Canal captain. Oh, so embarrassing. Do you think all the other captains on their group chat were just blowing up the, that person's phone like, uh, uh, nice shipping loser? Or what, I don't know what boat jokes are like, but... Just sending them gifs of cars in too small of parking spaces. <laughs> As the captain of a ship, you really never want to be in the Wikipedia of a canal. Unless you're the first one through the canal, then yeah. other, yeah, like that's a nice place. But every other entry is like, uh, canal had to close because of a catastrophic spill. Um, was caught embezzling tons of uh, cocaine through the canal. Would have been better. Would have been better for, would have at least that's a rep, you know? Mm-hmm. At least that right. takes some Street daring cred. do. Boat cred. <laughs> yeah, this is just a fuck up. Smuggling is like, at least, like, you know, you're getting something going. You're proactive. <laughs> right. It's side hustle, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Got to be hustling. Got to be hustling. I feel like 15, 16 million vaccine doses ruined is like, like at a time where so many people are waiting for the vaccine, in addition to it being like, oh, what a bad day at the office. It's like, this is kind of a great reminder that of like Joe Biden's ability to tell these companies to like make the uh I, I forget the word but like open source the the recipes or whatever it yeah. is get the recipes out there it's a, i'll call it a recipe i don't think we yeah. need a more technical term because i'll tell you what when Ch- when chipotle had the the problem with their their burritos i was like that's okay i know where else to get burritos right <laughs> but if johnson and right. johnson is the only one making mrna vaccine it's like ah we need a vaccine qdoba <laughs> see for me uh when Chipotle had the troubles, that mm-hmm. to me was a great opportunity to go to Chipotle because there were no lines. No lines. <laughs> there were no lines. And a lot of times they were just like, just take it. <laughs> just yeah, take I'll, it and go. That's how just I feel about these Johnson, Johnson & Johnson vaccines. It's like, sure, h- hit me with one. <laughs> let's, let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice. The Supreme Court unanimously ruled on Thursday that the Federal Communications Commission could relax rules limiting the number of newspapers, radio stations, and television stations that a single entity may own in a given market, which is why we are proud to announce that Love It or Leave It is officially part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. (laughs) It's great to be here. It's great to be here. Hey, I'm a named gay character. I'm a gay character with a name. It's possible. (laughs) Hey, a gay character in a Marvel Universe doesn't just have to be somebody in a group therapy session with Captain America. <laughs> this, this is huge. This is it's huge. This is representation. This is excitement. I feel like it is a matter of time before it, you're either the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not you specifically, but any any entertainment entity is either part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe or is like pirate radio. <laughs> yeah, that's like, it. It's just, like, the only I mean, we basically, it's just going to be, it's just either a Marvel movie or like, some dreck from Jim Jarmusch, you know, that's it. <laughs> or it's just like, oh, uh, what's what's your radio, what's your podcast on? Uh, I uh, transmit it individually to truckers over a CB radio. <laughs> I'm going to get killed for that. I, I don't think Jim Jarmusch makes dreck. A little slow. No. Could I mean, look, yeah, look, quiet, quiet, small movies. Quiet. We need a small movie every now and again. Small. Especially with like the Joker Obviously, mm-hmm. both as I know your favorite film. That's what I understand. That you're a huge <laughs> Joker guy. Um, but it, big but Joker the Joker, guy. <laughs> huge Joker guy. <laughs> Honestly, it, working in comedy, I uh, I just feel like the Joker became a household name without working in other kinds of entertainment. Like he's just a stand-up. So I think there's something to be said for that. <laughs> but I do think that like. Marvel, the, what they're gonna do is like they're gonna creep into other genres. Like we're gonna mm-hmm. end up with like, like a like a Sofia Coppola style oh, film. Yeah. We're about gonna get Marvel. We're gonna get Marvelcore. <laughs> Marvelcore. <laughs> yeah. Marvelcore. That's, That's awesome. what it's gonna be. <laughs> oh no! The Duplass brothers are gonna get into Marvelcore. <laughs> So, yeah, obviously they're wearing masks, but aren't the real masks what we put on in a marriage? Like, that's really what this this film is about. Yeah, they're superheroes, <laughs> uh, but they also kind of have lost their affection. Uh, and it's through the eyes of a kid. It's the squid and the whale and the Hulk. <laughs> Adam Driver just punches fully through the wall of his house. That's awesome. Oh, my God. I would see that by the, but I'm like joking, but it's like, sign me up. 
you know? I know, I mean, I kind of like those, not, This now we're way off course, but I kind of like those, like, unbreakable style movies about, like, where it's, like, a superhero, but it's just, like, a tiny little story about, like, a guy being like, I love what that. if I can't die, what does it mean to live? <laughs> yeah, explore it. Hey, how does it affect your relationship with your son? Mm-hmm. I'm interested in that. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in that. I don't need another, like, a ray of light going to the ceiling and then a gray battle against a monster where the rules are... Punch, 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 punch. These punches don't count. Mm -hmm. Then one last super punch. That's the punch that counts. That tends to be the rules in these things. Uh, Thanos, sure. That guy's... uh, uh, He he, he wreaks some havoc. But what about climate change? Where are we on that, Tony Stark? I don't know. I actually have not seen enough of the movies to know if Tony Stark was working to combat climate change. (laughs) It definitely doesn't figure prominently. Mm -hmm. Uh, It may have been... It's the kind of thing that you could see slipping in in some, like, kind of dialogue getting like you know your your investments in climate change are paying yeah. off handsomely mr stark and then you're off to the next thing but it's i you think know. just bullshit corporate lip service lay down some roads superman the carbon footprint of his iron man suit alone i have to imagine <laughs> and look again are we off topic sure but like what i've never understood is like okay the suit is very strong but he's a person inside the suit and like kinetic energy is conserved so you know that like so why is it that every time he like kind of crashes into the earth they don't pour him out you know <laughs> right right, right. Out of maybe thing. maybe the suit absorbs it must absorb because otherwise it would just be like every nfl player like he would tony stark would have just like the worst cte in the marvel cinematic universe that's by the way a direction we could go with the series kind of a rocky five late stage mm-hmm. rocky paying the price of his of his career mm-hmm. all the success he had and yet yep. the dark side of it absolutely will smith coming in as a doctor an expert in the field <laughs> you thought we were gonna get yelled at about jim jarmusch we're gonna get yelled at about like actually here's how the suit works idiots <laughs> <laughs> tell the truth <laughs> Tell the truth, Tony. This Iron Man suit. (laughs) All right. Fitting, given how we've been talking about this. On Wednesday, (laughs) New York State legalized recreational marijuana. Hey, I'm token here. (laughs) I'm token here. Ah. No notes. No notes. No notes from Josh. A plus. A plus. Also, according to the White House, President Biden's dog, Major, was involved in a second biting incident this week. As a result, he will be demoted to captain. (laughs) I can't decide whether it's a good sign that we know about how badly behaved the dogs are because it's like, wow, the journalists are really getting into the nitty gritty, right? Like, we're really getting the little stories, so no corruption is going to go unseen. Or whether it's like a smokescreen, like every time... Biden is like changing his immigration policy. He's just like, hey, Major, maybe take a little bit out of that guy's hand (laughs) so we can do a Friday Uh, news dump. We're doing some uh, controversial EOs. Uh, Can Champ take another shit in the dip room? That was actually pretty helpful. I do like the idea of seeing how badly behaved the president's dogs can get. Like, like, I want to see it. I want it to get to like Beethoven levels. (laughs) Beethoven. Um. Just pausing to remind everybody that the plot of the children's film Beethoven is that an evil man wanted to test bullets on Beethoven's <laughs> brain. <laughs> that is, is that literally really what it was? the plot of the film Beethoven is that an evil weapons manufacturer or mm-hmm. dealer pretends to be a vet so that he can kidnap Beethoven so that he can test his super brain bullets on a human sized skull. <laughs> That is Beethoven's skull. I will say I've not seen this Charles Grodin Bonnie Hunt vehicle since I was a child. Sam. But this is seared into my fucking memory that the plot of the film is about stopping a man from testing bullets on Beethoven. <laughs> that's, and again, no, no, so I'm not, not criticizing it. That's such a like consultancy group um, solution to him being like, well, I want to shoot people in the skull and they're like that is a bad look is there like a really big dog <laughs> and they're like isn't that worse and like depends on how big the dog is <laughs> but it's also um unaddressed in the film is like why it has to be this family's dog like it's mm-hmm. it's a really intricate plot like he gets to know like the dog is it's personal 
Yeah. He's very intent on this one dog. Right. Right. Instead of like creating a dog skull in a lab or something like a synthetic. A lot of options. He's like, yeah. He's like, we need to disappoint those kids. That's who I want to see cry. Anyway, uh, Major is a vicious monster. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> just a ferocious animal. <laughs> so anyway, Biden uh, jumped onto a countertop to avoid yet another lunge uh, from this untamed, <laughs> unquenchable beast that now uh, can only survive on human blood, mm-hmm. like the bear in the film The Edge. Uh, if you remember, just if you go back to your if you go back to your uh, your scripture in the film The yes. Edge. <laughs> so Biden gets on the counter and then he announces yep. his infrastructure plan. It's $2 trillion to modernize our electric grid and transportation network and other infrastructure, and $1 trillion will help fight climate change. And new polling out shows that Americans are more likely to support it when they find out it's paid for by raising taxes on the rich and corporations. Infrastructure, said Matt Gates. I hardly know her. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it coming, and I clenched my body like I was about to get into a car crash. <laughs> Because in a way you were. <laughs> in a sense, you did. I feel like Gates should, he could pull the full Cuomo, right, of being like, uh, oh, allegations against me? Uh, everybody get high as hell. He should just be like, infrastructure, baby. I'm all I'm all in. You know what I mean? He could just totally flip and people would be so mad at him. They, I, The Republican Party would be so much madder at him for... Uh, supporting a Biden policy than they would for um, for uh, sex trafficking. Oh, I mean, if there's one thing that we have learned, that there is only one sin uh, in Republican politics, and it is the sin of supporting minor tax increases for rich mm-hmm. people and the corporations. That's yeah. that's the only unforgivable yeah. act. The thing I saw this not to go back again. I saw the um the reports that Matt Gates was using. Uh, ecstasy right like that was mm-hmm. one of the other things which like i'm not here to look down my nose at people who, who use recreational drugs i will say matt gates hangs out with a lot of holocaust deniers and i think if you don't think the holocaust happened i would be so happy if there was no holocaust i wouldn't need ecstasy <laughs> right <laughs> just like hey you know what there was no holocaust like for real if that was for real i'd be like Wow, what a what a weight I've been carrying just thinking about the worst evils humanity can come. I mean, there's other ones, but that specific one as it's a, a big Jew, one. Yeah, I'm rolling. I just want to touch uh, velvet and dance to EDM. Yeah, I would say um, hell is being trapped in a conversation with Matt Gates while he's on MDMA. I think that that <laughs> is the definition of hell on earth, and I would not wish it on my worst enemies. Josh Gondelman, (laughs) it has been so great to talk to you. 